did press the right button. That's exciting. I just pressed the take a picture button instead of press recording because I can use my camera. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film my spring wrap up video because apparently it's that time of the year. Before I know it, I'm going to be filming my end of year videos which is really really scary because come down really really too quickly like as you can see I already have Christmas stuff up it was up in my last video yeah we're just gonna get straight into the books I managed to read this spring more than I was expecting I was a bit surprised considering I was in America for two of the weeks and I was really sick this past spring as well so I'm really impressed with how many books I actually managed to read so if you'd like to know what books I read this spring then I uh, keep on watching the rest of the series I finished at the end of my winter wrap-up video and that is of course Rapture by Lauren Kate. So this is the fourth and final book in the Fallen series by her. It was really good just to finish it and read it and I enjoyed it. They're Fallen Angels. I'm not getting into this right now but I really really enjoyed it. The next couple books I have to put up on here it's actually quite funny because um, if you saw the books I'm taking to America video I didn't read any of them. I started to read Between the Pages by Jodie Picoult and whatever her daughter's name is, I can't remember. I'll insert a picture of the book here for you. It's really irritating. Like, I found the book to be really irritating. I did not enjoy it at all. I just, I, I just didn't want to read it on the plane, so I didn't, and it just put me in a really bad reading slump. And then I ended up picking up this book called Paper Princess by Erin Watt. It was an ebook. I think it's one of the ones I spoke about. I can't remember if I put it in books I'm possibly taking to America or not. But I will insert a picture for you guys here so you can see what it looks like. And then I also read the sequel, Broken Prince, Twisted Palace, and Fallen Air. So I read the first four books in the series. The series was kind of met, to be honest with you guys. It's not the best thing ever. I read it, I enjoyed it for what it was, but you know, it wasn't any anything fantastic. The, the storyline and concept's a bit weird. Overall, I didn't mind the series, didn't think it was that great, but I enjoyed it for what it was. When I got back home in Australia, I picked up Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. So this is basically just a bunch of novellas. Well, it says here, New Tales from the Fallen Worlds. So basically, you get all the different characters from Fallen in this book and you spend Valentine's Day with these different characters and how they're celebrated over the different centuries. I started to read this. I can't even tell you how little pages I got through. I feel like three, four might be accurate, if that. And I had to put it down because it bored the absolute crap out of me. I did not give a shit about any of this. I was like, I'm kind of done with this world. I don't want to read this. So I put it back down. I DNF'd it. I don't really regret that decision either. And then, just because I wanted to finish this series, Something Fierce, I picked up Unforgiven, also by Lauren Kate, who follows one of the characters, Cam, from The Fallen World. This is him. You find out about his love interest, Lilith, and everything that goes on with him and her. I quite enjoyed it. I struggled at first. Some aspects were really cheesy and annoying, but... I enjoyed it. It was it was okay. I, did, I didn't mind it overall. The next book I picked up was Three Dark Crowns by Ken Dare Blake. I did not enjoy this book at all. I thought it was terrible. I just... No. It's basically about three sisters. Three sisters have to try and kill one another to be the sole queen. And they're supposed to be really savage and brutal and they were just really whiny. They were just whiny brats for most of this book and I did not like it. Their characters were really, really pathetic, I found. I didn't enjoy it, did not like it. And then I picked up And I Darken by, I say Kirsten, but I think it might be Kirsten White. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Also, didn't really enjoy this book. I enjoyed it more than Three Dark Crowns, but I don't know, I enjoyed reading about a female character who was savage. The rest of it I just I didn't care for. This is basically about Vlad the Impaler. It focuses on his daughter. It was interesting, but I didn't care for it. I don't know, I just... It was alright. I didn't love it though. And then I read the Zodiac series by Romana Russell, which features Zodiac, Wandering Star, Black Moon, and Thirteen Rising. I have an entire book tour of this series. I'll link it down below if you would like to watch it. I enjoyed it. I liked it. As you, if you've seen the video, you will know that. But yeah, I didn't think it was terrible. Then the second last book was The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I wasn't really enjoying this book at first. It was quite slow, I, I found, but I picked up. I enjoyed it by the end. You could guess what was going to happen. It's not your typical Stephanie Meyer book. It's completely different to The Host and the Twilight series. It does have a little bit of the insta-love, but by the end of the book I quite enjoyed it. thought it was quite interesting, quite different, something different from Stephanie Meyer, but I quite liked it. The final book 
that I read in spring was hands down my favourite book I read in spring. It's frickin' Sarah J Maas. And that was Tower of Dawn. I really quite liked it. It was really weird to sort of be reading it and being like, they're telling you things that have ha happened in Empire Storms that I knew about. I'm like, oh, so that's what they were doing when that happened and then this. And then there's one thing you find out in this book that you didn't know at the end of Empire Storms. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I loved this book. I thought it was amazing. So good. It's, I feel like, kind of redeemed my reading year because I feel like this year I've read some pretty mediocre books that were pretty atrocious. I really liked this book, I thought it was amazing. Okay guys, so they are all the books that I read in spring. If you have read any of these books, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you have not down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!